Hello everyone, welcome to another video coming at you live from the car. Basically I'm making this video because I wanted to explain a few things. I uh, was uploading my episode 2 of the campaign on YouTube. I realised something was up with the video pretty early on. Um, considering uh, after 30 minutes it was ranked 10 out of the last 10 videos the episode 1 was ranked number 1 so basically I thought there was something going on with the way YouTube was recognizing the video I know this video was a little bit more explicit than the last one this is why I split it up actually we split the episodes up because episode 1 would have been 30 minutes long and I wanted people to see what was in episode two or the last half you know that last half of that farm visit so we split it up basically like I just want to say thank you for everyone who came to the premiere video because that video did really well on YouTube and then um but episode two I thought if I split it up maybe we'll get more people to see you know the most important parts really but it actually backfired a little bit and I don't know whether YouTube can recognize um, some type of uh, automatic recognition of like it might have been a bit of blood in that video just it wasn't really that violent it was more you know there were some scenes in there that were a bit full-on but anyways uploaded it removed it <laughs> and thought oh my god what have I done wrong maybe I'll try it again and it went even worse removed it and I thought you know what I'm just gonna wait till the next day um, wait till the next day change the title on this and that again wait till the next day did it again and it was probably one of the worst performing videos I've ever made in the last three years you know so it was just like oh god so much stress like seriously like impacting the mental health over here because like I just wanted to give you guys like a little like outline of how much work we actually put into this series right first of all you have to get a team together to go and do some research on some places they have to go and check the place out first um, these people remain anonymous because they are ab absolutely just pure legends who are so professional and just amazing animal rights people that work in the background so I had this incredible team helping me out doing this re the research in these places then we have to s get everyone together obviously they need someone behind the camera too who's willing to come with me thank you camera person and you know so much organizing traveling staying up late I'm not a night shift person so doing night shifts back to back um, which while I'm trying to manage it was just oh, a pretty hectic thing and then like witnessing all that suffering as well and um, you know I'm a pretty strong person but just consistently with witnessing that suffering is is tough and then uh, the lack of sleep but then after you know the completion of the filming and uh, let's just say that's not the only place we filmed in there's a lot more coming um, then I have to send off the footage and then have to sit there with my editors and um, compile it together into something that's watchable <laughs> because there's just three hours of us in a farm you know and uh, trying to get the best or the worst if you know what I mean pieces together and compile it into an episode and then Oh my god, how do we release it on social media seeing as social media cannot is not not usually doesn't usually favor um, Content like this, so I really want to tell the animal story. So all of that stress um, Together to coming to the to a head to release and the release really well, but then on when I release it on um, Instagram it just oh my god it flopped so badly that I removed it off Instagram changed it a little bit re-uploaded it and it did better but so if it's not YouTube it's Instagram if it's not Instagram it's Facebook if it you know like luckily I'm so grateful I've got all these platforms that I've uh, worked on throughout the years to uh, build them up because it's almost like I've got backup plans um, but anyways basically I just wanted to give you like a little bit of a bit of an idea of how much like how hard it is to sort of orchestrate filming like that um, especially back to back to back to back and um, you know uh, so yeah, it was quite stressful so basically like this content has a lot of work behind it a lot of people helping out behind the scenes to make it possible so I, I just didn't think it was like justified to leave it up doing so bad so what I did is uh, now I've removed it again and obviously I've, I've put it, I'm going to put it up again and I'm using this video here just to kind of bolster 
the views of it bit and just like leave it linked down below let you guys know that it's up if you don't didn't see it if it didn't if YouTube didn't recommend it um, because if YouTube doesn't start recommend the video really it's got not much chance I mean I can rely on the supporters and the supporters all jump in there and they comment and they're just you know you guys have been supporting me for some of you for years and uh, you get it a lot of you guys get it like what this is about but again if YouTube doesn't play ball with some of the videos it's really uh, difficult so what I've done now is demonetize the video so the monetization of the videos helps that goes straight to supporting uh, our work you know we've got a, a team of people that help us um, you know but we'll just demonetize the video relying on you know so maybe that might stop YouTube from triggering something title thumbnail again but you know what if it doesn't do well this time just gonna leave it up as a resource for our activists. If anyone says to you, hey, what about the chicken industry? And they go, you just go, well, what about these parrot breeder sheds? This is where the, the chicks come from. Then you've got the video up there, leave it up there for you guys as a resource to show to people. And hopefully it has longevity like that. Um, but yeah, like just, oh, basically right now, if you look in the car, it's got the stands for change here, got Taz Drive and we're off to, you know, go someplace the footage is a lot harder to be censored and that's the public so we've got the stands here we're going to take the footage out to the people you know the people um, and see what they think of it basically see what see what see what the people think of the industries that they're buying from you know what I mean because uh, really I want to show the people what they're paying for too because I just don't I think a lot of people don't want to pay for that a lot of people probably want to boycott places like that so I think it's important to show the non-vegans who are watching too, any non-vegans watching, what goes on in these industries. So you know, like, you know, vegans aren't just like making things up. This is me in real time this year inside of farms all across the UK, the land that prides himself on high welfare. And really like the, that farm that I showed you is a red tractor approved facility, you know, and uh, th that's just some nonsense welfare thing they make up. A lot of the places I'll be going into are like red tractor approved, you know, the uh, other high welfare standards, I don't really want to tell you just yet, but they're coming. And, um, you know, I just wanted to show you guys what what it looks like, what, what it actually looks like if you actually go in there with a camera. Not what they tell you it looks like, but what it actually looks like. And that's what this the, the episode two was. It's like, this is what it actually looks like inside of these places, but they tell you one story, and this is what it's really like. So anyway, the, the video's down there, it's linked below. If YouTube messes it about again, just gonna leave it up, just gonna leave it up. Swallow my pride, I'm like one of these people, they don't give up, I just keep going and going and going, I just don't take sort of no for an answer when it comes to <laughs> this fight, this battle, so I'm just like, take it down, put it back up. And it really was, uh, it was stressing me out a lot, but I was like, oh, I just didn't wanna give up. But I'll fall on my sword, um, with, with this next upload, it's up there. You go check it out now if you want. That'll help actually, just people just go in there and letting it play through and uh, leaving a comment and uh, just, you know, telling, just liking the video or something like that. I don't know, really know how to work this algorithm. Been trying for years. Sometimes it goes really well for me. Other times it doesn't. Um, but yeah, just gotta keep battling through. But anyways, we'll see how today goes. We've got the uh, TV screens in the back here. Go and take it out to the public. See what they say. Usually have some pretty good conversations with people when it's really, I think it's powerful to have the footage that I've gathered. Um, and I'm actually the person telling the public about it. So like it actually puts me there in the facility. So it's really like, it's a lot more credible. I think if, you know, I'm actually on the screen in the footage and I'm talking to them about these industries. <clears throat> so anyways guys, that's why if you've ever seen something just go up and then get deleted, go up and delete it. It's because I'm trying to work things out here, probably pulling my hair out, whatever hair I've got left um, out of my head. But I love you all. Thank you for supporting. So Thank you for understanding like, you know, the work that goes in over here. We're not messing around and trying to work all these different platforms. The social media world as an activist can be difficult automatic censorship you know algorithms all of these things i don't understand them sometimes i break through them other times i don't and it's so soul crushing um but yeah we just keep going 
keep going until they completely remove activists altogether, eh? Like, I don't know when that's gonna happen, but should just capitalize on social media while we can, because um, I've got about 100 million views across my platforms, more now, and um, all the animal rights message. So that's huge advertising. That's, you know, to pay for that type of advertisement would cost millions of dollars, but I've just done it organically, and uh, we'll, we'll keep going, and um, thank you to everyone who supported us. If you want to support our investigation work, I'll leave a link down below as well, but more importantly, the link to the video that YouTube just keeps harming somehow is down below too. And uh, if you've got any advice, leave that down below too. I'll listen to anyone's advice right now about uh, trying to get around these. I don't want to censor the video. I don't. Whatever you do, I don't want to blur out any of the footage. I just want to leave it up there because I think it's more important the animals get their story told uh, accurately than me censor it just to avoid, you know, YouTube censorship or whatever. Anyways, guys, love you lots. Speak to you soon and uh, see you in the next video.